Hey guys, Swordsman here, as well probably expected, predicted, anticipated, masturbated, whatever. Okay, uh, yeah, got some Battlefield Bad Company 2 for you guys. Not a weapon review yet, uh, Briefing Room Episode 2 is in the works though. This was actually, uh, the other night, I uh, hooked up with D-Crew. We got Mr. Colin, Mr. Stoneface, and Ampact, of course. And then myself, they, uh... They decided to uh, bring a little scrub along like me, and uh, we hooked up and we kicked some ass all night long. This was a pretty fun game, at least for me, on uh, Squad Deathmatch. I had a blast, got a bunch of kills, had some fun. So just wanted to uh, put this up, talk about some things, you know. If you guys, for some reason, you're living under a rock, you're a Battlefield Bad Company 2 uh, fan, and you haven't heard of these gentlemen, I shall leave their links in the description. You should go check them out. They are easily the titans of the Battlefield community. They are probably its lifeblood on YouTube at this point. Uh, as you guys know, I have strayed into other games. I have uh, dabbled with some other things. Bad Company 2 does not get my uh, only attention anymore like it once did, but uh, those guys definitely put out some high quality Battlefield Bad Company 2 co uh, content on a very consistent basis. So if you somehow have never heard of them, go check them out. You will do yourself a favor. What else shall we talk about? I have so many commentary topics bouncing around in my head that I kind of want to talk about. And, oh, this part. Oh, it broke my heart. I was hoping to get the triple spray, but it didn't work out. No, oh, well. What was that? Two kills and a spot assist? So, uh, that was good enough for me. Alright, so let's, uh, pick a topic. Pick a topic. Okay, I want to talk about... Spinning the wheel. Okay. Now, do you remember how a couple weeks back now when that Hutch thing and all those videos and blah, 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 blah. And people were, like, focusing on... Oh, the YouTube community, it's oversaturated, it's oversaturated, there's too many commentators, there's too many people, right? I mean, that was a huge thing. Like, suddenly everyone's favorite word became oversaturation. I mean, are you serious? Come on now. But, I got some to uh, thinking about that, and I realized whose fault it is for having so many commentaries. Uh, it's basically every commentator's fault. I, I think commentators works... Uh, it's kind of like herpes. You have it, then uh, you find a friend, you and a friend have fun, then all of a sudden a friend has it, you know, it, it spreads. Now, now, stick with me here. Uh, it's going to make sense here in a minute. Now, if any of you guys watching this video, listening to it, are a commentator or post gameplay on YouTube, what got you started? Think it over amongst yourself. What got you started? Now, for a wide variety of people, it started because their friend was doing it. I know, right? It started because their friend was doing it. Now, for myself, I had it in my head for a long time that I wanted to do it, that I thought about doing it. I was mostly hung up on whether or not I'd be good enough to do it, and if anyone would even care, but I wanted to do it a long time ago, or for, for a long time. And then I was playing with a gamer buddy of mine, you guys might uh, remember Savitar, and he was all, bloody hell, mate, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, fucking little Charles. Well, you know how those UK guys talk. Anyway, no, I'm not making fun of him, just trying to be funny with a UK poorly done accent. Sorry, sorry. Dude, come on, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Anyway, he went ahead and he got he got himself a dazzle, I think it was. And he started, I'm like, fuck it, I'm not being left behind. I wanted to do this for longer than you, so bam, I got my hapog. And then along the way, it just works out like that, you know? Like, I can count probably, one, two, safely six to eight people that play with me on a consistent basis that have seen how much fun I've had doing these things and ended up getting a capture card themselves. That's just roughly a conservative estimate, six to eight people, that I had some sort of an impact on them through directly playing with me and seeing how much fun I had making videos that they decided to make videos themselves. Now think about that. I'm just one guy with a bunch of friends I met online and I inspired six to eight of my buddies as, on a safe estimate to start recording. So that's just me. Are any of you guys did, did like uh, Spoon? 
You might be listening to this. What made you start posting videos? Did a friend do it first? Did any of your friends do it because they saw you doing it? Right? Right? I mean, you, you guys see where I'm going with this? It's like... It spreads. It's almost like an infection. But not in a bad way. Because I think it's great. I think it's a lot of fun. And if you uh, put in the time and the effort and the energy, it, you will have a blast. Even if you have like 10 subscribers, you can still have fun. I had fun from my very first video, you know? But yeah, it just like hit me. It's like... Well, fucking duh. Of course it's going to spread because all of our buddies are seeing how much fun we're having with it. And then they want to have that kind of fun. I mean, I remember showing Lazy Boy, because Lazy Boy predates all the YouTube stuff. He was like, wait, you record videos on the, for the, the internet? He's kind of w off by it, I guess, a little bit. But then later, he's like, dude, that was sweet. You got to post that one. That was awesome. Remember when you shot me in the head? You got to post it. It's like he was having fun with it because he knew how much fun I could have with having all these gaming moments recorded that we could uh, post up and share. And so now he's going to be making gameplay video, finally. I wanted to get him in on it ages ago, but uh, but yeah. So he'll probably be number nine at some point here soon, probably when Black Ops hits. So it just like hit me that it's no wonder that the YouTube commentating and gameplay scene has blown up because... Every single one of us with a channel that posts stuff, we play with people. For the most, like, yeah, I'm going to safely say all of us at least have some sort of interaction with friends online that see us recording and see how much fun we have. And that makes an impression on some of these guys. They see, hey, for 200 bucks, some downloaded software that's probably illegal, I can go have fun too. And it appeals to people. It's, it's a hell of a pastime, a hell of a hobby. Uh... I guess you could say, percentage-wise or whatnot, it's a fairly cheap hobby once you get past the initial investment. What, what do I really pay? I, I buy these games anyway. I paid $200 for my Hapog. I made that money back now. So, it's a hobby that paid for itself and is self-sustaining. Uh, so, of course, people are going to see how fun that is and want to have that fun hobby themselves. So really, I don't. Am I the only one that thought of this? Am I the only one trying to draw these parallels between what creates people uh, into this hobby? So yeah, have at it. Chew that one over. Spit it around your old noggin for a little bit. Let me know what you think. You think I got a point? I think it might be accurate for a pretty wide variety of people. So uh, if you guys are listening to this and you make videos. Let me know if you think I'm right. Did you have any friends that uh, started because of you? Did you start because of any friends? So, uh, yeah. That was a commentary topic that I'm highly, highly looking forward to the responses in the comments below. So, uh, yeah. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about that. I thought about this the other day and I'm like, you know, I'm going to talk about that in one of these gameplays. And so I did. Also, a uh, special little shout-out to uh, the people that watch my uh, Fallout videos. You guys are awesome. And uh, some of you guys may not have noticed, but uh, in one of my recent Fallout videos, I called for friend requests. For people to send me friend requests with a special uh, code, so to speak, to get accepted. And I picked up about eight people to be on my friends list for uh, Battlefield players that will be helping me out getting Battlefield footage going forward into the future for... Uh, future briefing room episode so you guys are awesome for those of you guys that kind of just skipped through the fallout stuff nah, ha, ha, you missed the chance pals you missed the chance all right so uh virtual high five to those that do watch them you guys are awesome i'm glad some of you guys got on my friends list i think i accepted everyone yeah everyone that sent a friend request with the code got accepted i had enough room so uh you guys rock i just gave a thumbs up to my monitor that's Wow, that's fucking embarrassing. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Shut up. Don't judge me. Legend, knock it off. Alright, guys, that was the game. I think I went 17-2. and two. Hell of a game. See you, guys. I will catch you tomorrow.